Due to the continued transmission of COVID-19 globally and within the Caribbean region, the government of St. Lucia has updated its original travel policy of September 22, 2020, based on the OECS recommendations on the reopening of borders and implements the following. All incoming passengers, including persons from the Caribbean bubble, should present with a negative COVID-19 PCR test seven days prior to travel. All non-national arriving passengers from destinations outside the bubble will be allocated at the COVID-19 approved accommodation site. All arriving passengers from destinations within the bubble will be exempt from the 14 days of quarantine if presenting with a negative COVID-19 PCR test seven days prior to travel. All arriving passengers from within the bubble must have traveled directly or been in transit for less than 24 hours from a country within the bubble and have been in that country for at least 21 days. All arriving passengers from within the bubble who have been in transit in a country outside of the bubble will be subjected to 14 days of quarantine. All returning nationals from destinations outside the bubble will be subject to 14 days of quarantine. As of January 11, 2020, the following countries' territories form part of the Caribbean bubble. Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Effective January 11, 2020, all persons from outside this updated Caribbean bubble will be required to present with a negative COVID-19 PCR test result seven days prior to travel and complete a mandatory 14 days of quarantine. Tourism Minister Honorable Dominic Fede has spelled out the stark reality of the pandemic's economic impact as a result of plummeted revenues and COVID-19 response expenditure. The pandemic has pushed the global economy into a deep recession, adversely affecting trade, tourism, commodity and financial markets, and economic growth. The managing director of the International Monetary Fund estimates that it could take until 2023 for the global economy to return to its pre-coronavirus levels. St. Lucia is one of 170 countries that have entered negative economic growth since March 2020. The last figure that I saw suggested the government owed different suppliers over a hundred million dollars. And this really is because of the reduction in tourism revenues. Um, I know that the Treasury every day, it's um, a big surgery that they have to do to be able to determine um, how they're going to pay uh, their obligations. Um, we would have borrowed since the pandemic began somewhere in the region of about $300 million. That would have certainly um, impaired our fiscal health. Our debt to GDP has gone up significantly, and that is because we are feeling the effects of um, the reduction or the significant declines in tourism revenues. The tourism minister indicates the full extent of this economic impact will soon be conveyed to the public. At the next budget presentation, uh, when those numbers are made very clear to the country, you will see uh, the irreparable harm that the annihilation of tourism has caused to the fiscal health of the country. Um, last year, we were at 59% of GDP, and I think that the projections just showing by the end of the financial year, we're going to be somewhere at 95% of debt-to-GDP ratio. So that answers the question in terms of our dependence on tourism and how critical it is uh, across the spectrum of the entire economy. The United Nations has warned that without aggressive policy action, the COVID-19 pandemic could turn into a protracted debt crisis for many developing countries.